Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews and today I will be discussing the topic of pedal equations. This is a part of differential calculus and for uh, first semester engineering students. In this uh, video we will be learning how to calculate pedal equations for the various forms of problems. We have problems involving phi and theta and are discussed. For more videos on engineering math, you can go to my page engineeringmath slash mathmadeec.co and do send me a, your feedback through a comment. The equation of a curve in terms of P and R is called the pedal equation of a curve. So we have a curve here and we have a tangent to the curve and P is the length of the perpendicular from the origin to the curve. This is theta and this is phi and this angle is called psi. So equation of a curve in terms of P and R is called the pedal equation of the curve. With usual notations, prove that the pedal equation of the curve is 1 by P squared equal to 1 by R squared plus 1 by R raised to 4 dr by d theta the whole squared. We keep using the earlier figure and we first prove that tan phi is R d theta by dr or cot phi is 1 by r dr by d theta. So going back to the figure, psi equal to phi plus theta. It is the exterior angle for this triangle. So tan psi equal to tan phi plus theta. Tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. So it is tan phi plus tan theta by 1 minus tan phi tan theta. Call this equation 1. Now tan psi is the slope of this tangent because slope is defined as the angle made by a line with the positive direction of the x-axis. So slope is given by dy by dx. Here x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta. That is a polar representation. So because the parameter is theta, it is dy by d theta by dx by d theta. So tan psi equal to d d theta of r sin theta by d d theta of r cos theta substituting for x and y. y is r, x is r sin theta, x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta. So applying the product rule this will be r cos theta plus sin theta into dr by d theta divided by r derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta plus cos theta dr by d theta. Now we divide numerator and denominator by dr by d theta cos theta. So this becomes r cos theta dr by d theta cos theta. dr by d theta sin theta by dr by d theta cos theta will give you tan theta. Again this is minus r sin theta by dr by d theta cos theta. And dr by d theta cos theta divided by this is 1. So you get plus 1. So tan psi equal to r, this becomes r by dr by d theta plus tan theta by 1 minus r tan theta dr by d theta because sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So comparing with equation 1, 1 says that tan psi equal to tan phi plus tan theta by 1 minus tan phi tan theta. So here we have tan phi will be r by dr by d theta, tan phi plus tan theta by 1 minus tan phi tan theta. So tan phi is r dr by d theta, dr by d theta or d theta by dr. So cot phi will be 1 by r dr by d theta, which is what we had to prove. Now p equal to r sin phi for a pedal equation going back to the figure, p equal to r sin phi sin is opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin phi is p by r or p is r sin phi. So 1 by p is 1 by r cosec phi. 1 by p squared will be 1 by r squared cosec squared phi. Cosec squared is 1 plus cot squared. So it is 1 by r squared 1 plus cot squared phi. We substitute for cot phi as 1 by r dr by d theta. So it becomes 1 by r squared 1 plus 1 by r squared dr by d theta the whole square. So 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared plus 1 by r raised to 4 dr by d theta the whole square. So which is what we had to prove. Now to find the pedal equation of a curve, 
let 1 be the equation of the curve, obtain phi and substitute p equal to r sin phi and get equation 2. Using equation 1 and 2 eliminate theta and the equation obtained in p and r is called the pedal equation. So 1 is the equation of the curve in phi, obtain phi and substitute in p equal to r sin phi and then solve both the equations together to eliminate theta. We will see how to do this through an example. Find the pedal equation of the curve 2a by r equal to 1 plus cos theta. We first obtain phi. Apply log to both sides. So log of a by b is log a minus log b. Log 2a minus log r is log of 1 plus cos theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. So this is 0. Here you get minus 1 by r dr by d theta equal to 1 by 1 plus cos theta. Derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So minus 1 by r dr by d theta is minus, no sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. So it becomes minus 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta or 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos squared theta by 2. So the denominator reduces to 2 cos squared theta by 2. So I get now 1 by r dr by d theta is cot phi. So I get minus cot phi equal to minus. Here 2 cancels 1 cos theta by 2 cancels and you get sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 which is tan theta by 2. So cot phi is tan theta by 2. The minus goes from both sides. So cot phi is cot phi by 2 minus theta by 2 because cot phi by 2 minus x is tan x. So phi is pi by 2 minus theta by 2. So we have got phi in terms of theta. Now so eliminate theta by substituting phi in p equal to r sin phi. So we get p equal to r sin pi by 2 minus theta by 2 or p equal to r cos theta by 2. So we have got an equation by substituting phi. Now we eliminate theta from the original equation and this equation. So 2a by r equal to again 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos squared theta by 2 or a by r is cos squared theta by 2. Now squaring this we get p squared by r squared equal to cos squared theta by 2. So a by r is p squared by r squared or p squared equal to ar. This is the required pedal equation because p is r cos theta by 2. So p squared by r squared becomes cos squared theta by 2 which is what you have here. If we are unable to find phi directly, we take 1 by p squared as 1 by r squared sin squared phi or 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared into 1 plus cot squared phi. Substitute for cot phi and eliminate theta. We will see how to do a problem with this. So find the pedal equation of the curve r raised to n equal to a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta. Applying log to both sides, log of a raised to m is m log a. So n log r is log of this, a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. So I get n by r dr by d theta equal to, the derivative of log x is 1 by x. So it becomes 1 by a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta into derivative of a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta which is a raised to n n cos theta derivative of sin n theta is n cos n theta minus b raised to n derivative of cos n theta is minus sin n theta into n so minus n sin n theta now divide both sides by n there should be an n here it is cos n theta so it is 1 by r dr by d theta is a raised to n cos n theta minus b raised to n sin n theta by a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta. 1 by r dr by d theta is cot phi. So cot phi is a raised to n cos n theta minus b raised to n sin n theta by a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta. Here we cannot write phi directly in terms of theta. So we will write 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared cos x squared phi. That is 1 by r squared into 1 plus cot squared phi. And in this expression, substitute for cot phi. So 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared into 1 plus. You have to square this because this is your cot phi. 
So it becomes a raised to n cos n theta minus b raised to n sin n theta the whole squared by a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta the whole squared. Take the LCM, so you get 1 by r squared, a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta the whole squared. This is a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta the whole squared plus a raised to n cos n theta minus b raised to n sin n theta the whole squared. We now square it. So you get 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared. a raised to 2n sin squared n theta plus b raised to 2n cos squared n theta plus 2 a raised to n b raised to n sin n theta cos n theta. Again this becomes plus a raised to 2n cos squared n theta plus b raised to 2n sin squared n theta minus 2 a raised to n b raised to n sin n theta cos n theta. Now 2 a raised to n b raised to n sin n theta cos theta gets cancelled and taking a raised to n out you get sin squared n theta plus cos squared n theta which is 1 so you get a raised to n. Taking b raised to n out you get cos squared n theta plus sin squared n theta out which is b raised to 2n. So you get 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared a raised to 2n plus b raised to 2n by a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta the whole squared. So 1 by p squared is 1 by r squared a raised to 2n plus b raised to 2n. Now r, is, r raised to n is a raised to n sin n theta plus b raised to n cos n theta. So here instead of this I will write r raised to n squared which is r raised to 2n. So cross multiplying we get r raised to 2n plus 2 is p squared into a raised to 2n plus b raised to 2n which is the required pedal equation of the curve. For more videos subscribe to my channel. Thank you.